Proverbs 17, 22. A merry heart does good like what? Madison. But a broken spirit dries the bones, bones and figurative of a person's life. Tell your neighbor, the, the second thing that'll creep in, or you'll open the door up for, is a broken spirit. Your spirit is broken. You ain't dealing with that thing. You're not allowing God to empower you. And now your spirit is broken about the situation. Spirit is broken about what you're going through. And let me tell you something. And when you get a broken spirit, most of the time you don't want to be around people who have a merry spirit. Or you'll get to looking at them as if they're God's favorites. And your spirit has been broken about what it is that you're going through. Come on. Your spirit is broken. Spirit dealing with your, your behavior, your attitude. Your character is not where God would want it to be. You got a broken spirit. See, when your spirit is broken, better can be right before you. But with a broken spirit, you don't even have the energy to pursue better. You don't, you don't even have what it takes to get up. And do the things that need to be done that will produce better within your house. Because your spirit is so broken. And you think the way that it is is the way it's always going to be and that God ain't helping you. No, you got to let God empower you. Come on. See, I, I've had a broken spirit. I've had a broken spirit before. It didn't feel good either. Just sitting there letting everything that come dominate you. And just, just completely take over. That means now your problem is weighing you down. That situation is wearing you down. It's actually putting what we call a beat down on you. And you're entering into heaviness. Now tell your neighbor, heaviness has been known to cause medical issues. Heart trouble. Come on. Strokes. Ulcers. And probably one that we really know about. Headaches. Headaches can be, heaviness can be that which is causing headaches and problems even in your body. Skin problems. Woo! Vision. What is the key? What Paul said in Philippians 4.13. We got to allow God to empower us. We got to receive divine strength. Because what does divine strength do? And I'm done. When depression tries to enter in, it closes the door. Heaven is trying to come. But when I let God empower me, I can shut the door on that. I don't have to go around with no broken spirit. I can be happy. And my happiness can be real. It ain't got to be no pretense. Come on. I, I don't have to be jealous of others. I, I don't have to spend time wishing I was somebody other than who God made me be. I'm going to deal with what's at my door. I'm going to let God empower me. And when I do, he'll cause you to be more fruitful. Or more productive. Tell your neighbor that's what you got to do. Whatever you're dealing with. Be a learner. And allow God. To empower you. And tell your neighbor when you do. You can. Do. All. Things. Through. Who? Tell your neighbor ain't no telling what's about to happen in your life. If you let God empower you. Shout it to somebody. There's no telling. What God. Is going to do. For you. This month. When you. Learn. And let him strengthen you. Tell your neighbor. I know you're right. Shout it to somebody. Show you right. Tell your neighbor. He's been strengthening me this morning. 
And I tell you, neighbor, you know how we preach it? We don't preach just get ready. Tell them we preach what? Stay ready. Look at somebody and say, we don't just preach get ready. We preach stay ready. Tell three people, let God empower you. Divine what? Divine what? Divine what? Divine what? Use it at the house, job, whatever you're going through. Let God give you divine strength to handle what he's ordained for your life. Amen? Somebody, you've been battling in your body. Don't allow what you're going through to cause you to be depressed, heavy, or have a broken spirit. See, sometimes when God empower you, what he's doing is allowing you again or giving you the capacity to produce results. You may go through in your body so bad sometimes to where it almost seems like it want to lay you down physically. But this is the key. If God got something for you to do that day, and if you say, Lord, if I'm going to be able to do what needs to be done based upon my body, I need you to release divine strength. And he'll give it to you. You will move forward. And you will get everything done that day that you need to get done. You may be in a little bit of pain. You may have a little discomfort. But you will know, I wouldn't have even been able to start the job, let alone finish it, if he wouldn't have gave me divine strength. That's what it is. Okay? Amen. I'm done with the message. Let's give him a praise.